Hi friends, it's Liz here. So today I am going to be doing just a quick um, share on how I made the stacked envelopes. And this is what I shared with you before. If you want to see, you know, everything that's in it and how that looks, I will link that video in the description box below. Many of you have asked for me to show you how I put the envelopes together. Um, but now I'm just going to quickly show you just some ways to put one together. And um, I'm also going to show you how to make the easiest envelope that you could make any size that you want without needing to have the envelope scoreboard, that kind of thing. So to get started, gather your envelopes. It could be any size that you have. You know, I really enjoy reusing envelopes whenever I get them. So like if I get a a greeting card or something I'll keep the envelopes because I know I'll use them for something else uh, you can always make your own like I said you don't necessarily need to have the envelope especially if you want to do like a smaller envelope to stack on top of it you might want to have um, you might want to make your own or use your dies etc so I find that the easiest way to do this is to gather different sizes so for example here I've got about five different envelopes and I also like to stagger them and um, and use them in different sizes and also like in odd numbers for some reason it's just I think they look nicer that way so I have made this envelope myself and you can see that here okay so that is that would be like my back envelope to this set because they're all like a different size um, I've gone ahead and also made this one a different shape as you can see so it's the same design, but different shape and size. Now, for some of these, I am using my own printables for my most recent digital kit. I will link that below. It's called Hugs XO. I'm really loving using it. And uh, thank you all so much for your support, those of you that are purchasing the printables in my shop. Um, so anyway, so I made this a smaller version one. So I'm going to just quickly show you how I would stack these if I was actually putting this together as my little stacked envelope. So I've got, uh, you know, like five of them here. This one just happens to be a regular envelope that I had. Um, this one I made with my die cut machine and this is also my own um, printable paper. And then this tiny little one I just made with a scrap I had left over from a Simple Stories collection that I'm working on. And, you know, my, my messy desk shows what I'm working on a little bit. So anyways, so you can see the different sizes and different sort of styles. So what I would do um, is play around with, um, you know, where I want to start layering my first one. And what you need to remember is... Um, that you're going to be staggering them on top of each other because what you're doing is attaching them to the flap. So basically you're attaching your top envelope to your previous flap and this is basically the process. I just sort of stagger them and I make sure that they're facing um, a different direction or they're angled in a different direction I should say. So you can see this one is angled this side and then here and then here and then here and I think like with the five it looks really cute and then of course what you would do is just add glue to the back of your envelope attach it to your flap and then when this is attached you've got a little flip out and you would just keep doing that to your entire envelope back so, one. now if you have if you're reusing envelopes are just regular envelopes that you're keeping I, I would recommend that you um, insert some sort of uh, cardstock in them or do a liner because that would make your envelope a little bit sturdier you don't want it to be so flimsy like the one that I made here you know it's cardstock it's it holds a lot more weight especially if I'm adding things on top of it um, so you know that that would make it nicer and your base of course this is um, again a regular envelope I would put something in it to make it a little bit sturdier instead of just uh, leaving it as is. Uh, sometimes, of course, with the decorations, like for example, the winter one. Um, let me see where I have one here. So this one here was actually the one that I already had and I just did a liner for it 
like that went all the way in and that gives it a little bit more support so I could kind of do more with it. And as you can see here, like when I've staggered them, you can see what I'm talking about, how I stagger the envelopes. Um, when you open them up, you've got your back one attached to your flap and then it's just a it just gives you more working space i like to decorate the tops as well because it just gives you more to look at when you open them up and then the other thing i love about this is that you've got like all these pockets that you can fill with all these goodies when you're sending them to your friends so you can see the back one this one i did make because it's a larger one and it's a nice and sturdy paper so that really helps support the weight of everything else especially when you're holding it you don't want the back one to be all like flimsy and then supporting all the weight of the top ones i hope that makes I'm sense i'm just going to quickly show you uh, how i stagger these three so you have an idea of what i'm talking about you know how we glue them together so the first thing i do is i would try and uh, make sure that i like the way that they're uh, staggering so I like that this little set would look like this, okay? So I would start with the top one because um, I kind of like to, to start there to see how that looks. And I'm really liking that angle there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue, keeping in mind that I don't need to add glue to the entire back of it, okay? So then it's just like a, a little bit of glue I start with on the corners. And just put it back where it was. And then I sort of do that first one just so that I can see how it's going to sit. And then the next one again, I do the same thing. I just add glue to maybe the top corner a little bit because I'll finish gluing the rest since it's going to all be attached together. Okay, so let's just let that dry a little bit better. And I, I realize the envelope I used here has like the little, um, what are they called? Just like the little uh, punched out flowers. And so my envelope was kind of gluing to the other side. Anyways, so that's a little mess there. But you see how now it kind of flips open this way. And then we go to the next one and the same thing. And then here I'll just finish gluing that on top of it. Because now I know where um, it stops. And look how cute it looks so far, right? And then I can add a couple more, maybe on the back, two more if I wanted to, too. But I thought making a tiny little one was super cute. So I hope this was helpful. Let me show you how to make the quickest envelopes in case you need some different sizes. Okay, so I am using my scoreboard for this. I find it easier. You don't have to, but I do find it easier to use my scoreboard for this because it just makes crisper lines. If you don't have that, then you can always use a ruler and then line it up to whatever you need to do there, right? Okay, so let's see here. I like, so I'm using an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, okay? This is just printed. It is from one of my digitals as well, the uh, coffee stained uh, papers, doilies um, and papers. And I'm going to turn it towards the eight and a half side. I'm taking my envelope that I want to sort of copy as my template. I You don't need this. You can just do this process without an envelope, but I'm going to show you how I like to sort of get the same size of something that I like and that I already have. So because this envelope would be um, five and uh, three quarters by four and I think that's four and a half. I can't see it because I'm not above it, um, but four and a quarter maybe. I, that's the size that I kind of want. So I keep in mind that I'm going to be making like kind of the little hinges on the inside. So I've just sort of moved it over. This is like my measurement. I've just moved it over uh, because I want like a half an inch line on either side, right? So that would be like my half a line. And then the rest I would cut off. So I'm going to cut this and then come back and show you what I do next. So I've gone ahead and cut my sheet to, um, to fit um, you know, my envelope template that I'm using. Again, you don't need it, um, but I'm just going to show you how I like to use that. And then I've left about a half an inch on either side. I flip it over, okay? And then I make sure that my envelope um, 
my my envelope base is touching the side and then I'll just make a score line where the top would be so that would be the top of my envelope here okay then I fold that over first I'm going to do it this way because I believe you have to fold towards your score line okay so now you can see how that is um folded over so then here I like to leave a little kind of like an eighth of an inch gap because that's what normally the envelopes have if you can note that there so I'll just go to the four and a half mark and again I've just got this folded so that it's easier for me to figure that out okay and now you can see how the envelope is looking so then This is where we begin to do our cutting, um, you know, cutting off all our little um, extras that we don't need. So, and then of course I, I've got to fold it first. Now the sides may not be exact like these sides here. That's fine because it's going to be covered anyways. I don't need to look at that. And then, let me just take my little scissors. I'm liking these more. So then the next step here is um, for the top, which is our flap, I'm just going to cut off that excess because we don't need it. And I'm sure you've seen, you know, many tutorials on how to make envelopes. I hadn't done this before, but I know that um, I figured I might as well show you what I do uh, when I need an envelope a certain size and I don't have it. So then you've, you're looking at your flap right here okay so then we don't need these ones at the bottom so we're going to cut those off and these tiny scissors by the way i don't know i like them here they are from a uh, stationary pal and i'm really liking the um the size i think i got that right there and then this side also just in case you were wondering. I know sometimes I get asked where my supplies are from. Now I'm cutting just a little bit past that score line that we had made. And this is not going to be the most perfect one because I'm just not really taking my time to do it right. I'm just doing this to show you. So that's what it looks like now. Okay, so then, because I don't really, um, you know, want to just have it all like a square when I open it. I want to make that little kind of, um, oh my God, like all these pieces of paper everywhere. I kind of want to do this to it. Okay. So then what I do is I just flip it over here. Oh, I had it on the right side. So I want to make that, that sort of little line. There. So I take my ruler and this ruler, um, has like that center point, which I really like. Um, and I believe it's a Fiskars. I will link it below if I remember um, to do so. And so I just make like a, a line where that center is. And then I think about how far I want my angle to be. So I think I want this to go a little bit further um, in the envelope. I want it to sort of be like that much that I cut off. And then I may need to cut more, but I'm not sure yet. So then I'll just sort of cut towards it. I'll make another little uh, wrong thing to use and I'll just quickly make like those lines that I'm going to be cutting just so I have an idea. I'll meet the, the corner of my envelope here with the center line that I made and then I just go ahead and cut that and that's where I end up making my little space for my envelope. Okay, and then when I fold that up, I think I need a little bit more. So if you want to continue, just do the same thing, make your point and then cut a little bit below, but you can just get the idea of how that is. And then of course, I just round my corners because I like to have that done. And then you've got your envelope, so you would just glue your your ends, uh, your uh, folded sides in, and then you've got your envelope. So like I said, any size 
any size you want to make this it's doable because um, you just decide what size you want your envelope to be and then leave like a half an inch on either side that you'll be folding in so i hope this was helpful my friends as always thank you so much for joining me this was just a quick video don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you like this type of video questions comments please leave them below and i will see you next time thanks so much for stopping by